Today we'll be trying out the new Mr. Beast bars. YouTube, welcome to the channel. My name is Jason. Here on this channel, I do food and product reviews. Like I said, I have the new Mr. Beast chocolate bars that you can pick up on feastables.com. So we'll try these out and see how they are. All right, so before I break into this package here, you can see feastables.com. This is where you can pick up the candy bars, 100% plant-based, only four ingredients, and an extra piece up there to share with your friends. There's prizes too. You scan the QR code on the back of the, the candy bars. You can win prizes. Um, the grand prize winner will win a chocolate factory, kind of like Willy Wonka. If you don't know who Mr. Beast is, so Mr. Beast is an award-winning digital content creator known for his over-the-top stunts and charitable endeavors. As a pioneer in the digital content sphere, he has over 121 million subscribers across eight different YouTube channels. And he's uh, set up some pop-up restaurants, you know, that pop-up, you know, ghost kitchens that cook out of major restaurants. Um, so there's the Mr. Beast hamburgers and sandwiches and stuff that I think you can still get. There was no locations close to me, so I was never able to try that. But this you can pick up on the website there. And when they say, you know, over the top stunts, he does things like, you know, has his friends, last person with their hand on, say, a Lamborghini wins Lamborghini. Last person with their hand on a house wins a house. He gives away a lot of his money he makes. Not all of it. I mean, he makes a ton of money, but then gives it away because that's how he gets views by doing crazy videos like that. So the Mr. Beast bar in here, I think I went with the variety pack. Let's go back to the website so we can show you how much they cost. Okay, so they have three different flavors. They have the original, almond, or quinoa, quinoa crunch. The crispiest, the almond, it's nuts. In original, keep it simple. So I went with the variety pack and it was $49.99 for 18 candy bars. Not cheap, but we'll see how these taste. Was it worth the money? All right, let's get into these candy bars. Look at your box, it says Mr. Beast Bar on there. And there's merch and other things that, like I said, you can purchase on that website, Feastables. Okay. Nothing else in the box here. Here is our variety pack of 18 candy bars. Nutrition facts on the back. Looks like basically the same for all the candy bars, 170 calories, two grams of protein per candy bar, and the carbs are 17, except for the almond crunch, it's 16. Okay, so you get six of each, 18 candy bars in here. And there we go. Mr. Beast Bar. Okay, so I say we will start off with the original. And then we have the quinoa crunch and then do the almond last. And I'm liking the colors on here because it kind of matches my colors sort of. Pink and blue, even though it looks purple, it always shows up in the videos as purple. People think, oh, you got red and purple going on. No, I don't have red and purple. This is pink over here. This light right now is pink. Kind of makes it look red. This light is blue, but yet when it's on the wall, it's purple. Huh. I don't know. Okay. Mr. Beast bar. And I can already tell it's already broken in here. And there's the code, so you scan that code with your phone and Mr. Beast. For an extra chance to win, Mr. Beast, visit feastables.com. Pull this. Scan to enter giveaway. And then the code, you can enter the code to win some prizes too. So I'll try that later. We're here for the candy bars. It's all broken. And there's that shareable piece. So this is just the original. It should just be in a plain chocolate bar, kind of like a Hershey's, but simpler ingredients in these. And the ingredients, like it says, only four ingredients in this cane sugar, organic chocolate liqueur, organic cocoa butter, and sunflower, uh, the, the thin L-E-C 
I T H I N, whatever that is. Some sunflower ingredients. Not bad. Um, I would like to see what are. I just wanted to look up real quick. You know, these are supposed to be simpler ingredients. I don't know if they're supposed to be healthier for you, but I wanted to compare the nutrition from one of these, say, at least this one, to a Hershey bar. Where, so this is 170 calories. A Hershey bar would be 214 calories, 14 grams of fat over there, 11 grams of fat here. Um, sodium 29 for Hershey. Zero sodium in the Mr. Beast bar. That's good. Uh, what else? Carbs. 20 carbs, 20 grams there. 17 here. 3.8 grams of protein there. 2 grams of protein here. It's a little better. And the taste isn't bad. Does it taste exactly like, say, a Hershey's bar? No, that's more of a milk chocolate taste. This is... Maybe a touch bitter. Not bitter like dark chocolate. I wish I had a Hershey bar here to compare it to. But still, decent, a decent chocolate bar. I just wish it hadn't broken in many pieces. Yeah, that one's pretty good. Oh, why are they all They're just my top ones? Yeah, I can tell a lot of them are broken. That's kind of frustrating. This one I can tell, this is broken into a bunch of pieces. So I'm assuming the way they're broken, they must be getting broken before they're even being packaged in these boxes, I'm guessing, because they shouldn't break, I don't know, maybe, I mean, are they moving around inside this box and shipping, you know? Maybe they're not breaking at the plant. They could be breaking and shipping. I work in Sam's Club in the receiving department, and when the FedEx truck comes, because we get FedEx deliveries, and his truck is just packed full of boxes, just stacked up, and he'll grab them. Oh, that's not for me. Toss it. Toss this one. They're tossing packages. Your packages get tossed all over the place. So I can see why these probably are broken. Uh, as you can see, that's in a bunch of different pieces. It's still going to taste the same, but it had been nice to have these, you know, so I can show you what the bar looked like on top. So it looks like it's just a pattern, and then I think the one should say should say share on it. Okay, this was quinoa crunch. I don't know if I've ever had quinoa before. I don't know what it's supposed to taste like. This is more like a Nestle's Crunch Bar. It tastes a lot like a Nestle Crunch Bar. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, so that's the the uh, top of the bar, the, the design on it. I can tell this one's broken too. Um, yeah, decent. Anything you need to run out and get these, I mean, again, $50 for 18 candy bars. You're getting them because you want, you're a fan of Mr. Beast. Maybe you want to enter the, for these prizes to, to maybe you win something. Maybe you win the Chocolate Factory. Man, if you're one of the ones that wins the Chocolate Factory, leave in the comments below. Invite me out to do a video there. That would be awesome. Okay, so this is the, what is it? The almond one? This one should be my favorite. I like almond candy bars. They're just so small, such tiny little pieces. All right. Wow. There you go. The this could be. I just don't eat a lot of just chocolate bars. So now I have eighteen of these, and they're all broken. Probably take them to work. Give them. Give them to some people at work. The Mr. Beast variety pack, fifty dollars, or you could just go with. You know, if you don't want the variety pack. 
And if you don't want the quinoa or you don't want the original, you just want to choose one. You can buy just, you know, 18 of, I think it's 18. Okay, so they're 10 packs for $30, at least for the almond one. Is this one the same? Yeah, so you can either get the variety pack of 18 for 50 or a 10 pack for 30 of just your whatever flavor you want to go with. You know, a little pricey, but again, like I said, you're getting them because they're Mr. Beast themed candy bars and you might win some really cool prizes that they have if you win it. Again, if you win anything, leave it down in the comments below. Just let me know. I'd like to know if any of you are winning this. There you go, Mr. Beast candy bars. You can find them on feastables.com. I'll probably leave a link down in the description to the website. I'm not getting anything out of this. I, they did send these to me. I paid for these. I paid for $50 for these 18 candy bars. Decent, you know, would I order more? No, why? I don't need to, they're expensive. It was just, you know, I thought I'd get some, I'll probably save some of these. If I find some that aren't broken and put them away and save them, maybe they'll be worth money someday, who knows? I don't know. There you go, the Mr. Beast candy bars. Leave it in the comments below if you got them. What did you think of them? What was your favorite flavor? If you've enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And I'll see you in the next video.